Hi, I'm Loren, and I am with the fabulous composer, Jim Dooley. How are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. It's kind of a rush coming off the panels, where everybody's really excited to talk to you about your work, so it's uh, your head and ego kind of get a little bit inflated, so i got to come down from that. But <laughs> you have a reason to have an inflated ego. I mean, you, have, you do amazing work. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, the projects that you're doing. There's a couple that I actually can't talk about, oh. um, uh, a couple of video game projects that won't be announced in probably for another 6 to 12 months. Um, but what I can tell you that I'm working on, I just finished a film with Lauren Bacall, Alfred Molina, and Hayden Panettiere, and Josh Hutcherson called Carmel by the Sea. Yeah. And that soundtrack just came out. I mean, I literally just got my copies a few days ago. Uh, and also I'm doing a new TV show for Warner Brothers uh, called Poe, um, and a show that's going to be on FX shortly called Wilfred with Elijah Wood. Fabulous. And now, how did you get started in composing? You know, I've always played some instruments. Since I was seven, my mother had a guitar. My father claims he had a clarinet, but I am suspect about that. <laughs> um, but uh, it was a form of discipline for kids. It's like, okay, we'll just go practice and give you something to do to keep you off the streets in New York. Uh, but I liked it, so I kind of stuck with it. And then I decided to get two degrees at private universities to rack up some college debt, which, yes, I could say now happily paid off finally finished that. Um, but after that, I, after working with Hans Zimmer for two years after my graduate degree, is really what cemented it for me that I could, I could really do this living and I could do the hours, but I, it was because I loved it all and cared about it so much. So now, do you feel like you always have music playing in your head? And what is playing if you do at this moment? You know, it's funny. I actually, I don't. The, the, the best part of all of this is that you can kind of turn it on and off most of the time. <laughs> But for example, like after my first meeting on Poe, I didn't have the gig yet, but I wrote all the material in my car on my way home from the meeting, and I didn't even have the show. So when it comes, it comes, and there's nothing you could do to stop it. Um, but for the most part, it's like because of the skill set involved, like in the morning, I can turn it on and go like, I need to write a love theme now. It's like, and you can focus that energy. But for the most part, when I'm done with work, I listen to stand-up comics on my way home to try to clear some of to clear the mind, um, you know, when I'm on my way to dinner, I'm like, I need to get some of the music out of my head. But if I'm not listening to film scores and, or Prokofiev, I am listening to 80s music. Oh, interesting. So what type of 80s music are you into? Uh, I think the greatest song ever written is, well, two songs, Total Clips of the Heart and Take On Me. Take On Me is like, you cannot help but smile when you listen to that song. It, and Total Clips of the Heart, I mean, come on. <laughs> Genius. Yeah, Absolutely. two great songs. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Well, I want to thank you so much for being with us today. Um, and I really look forward, we all look forward to hearing more of your music in the future. Well, thank so, you so much. Of course, my of course. For more full length celebrity interviews, visit sidewalkstv.com.